In 1939, Einstein published a paper denying the existence of black holes. If we simplify its content as much as possible, Einstein's idea can be described as follows. As a star compresses, the gravitational force at its surface increases. To maintain a stable star, the particles at its surface must move at ever higher speeds so they do not fall inward. When the size of the star decreases to one and one-half times the critical radius, that is, the radius at which an object becomes a black hole, the speed of the particles on the star's surface must equal the speed of light, and further compression becomes impossible because it is impossible to exceed the speed of light. To a modern physicist, one thing immediately stands out. Einstein made an unjustified assumption that the star must remain stable and that the particles must not fall inward. Why should they not, at speeds less than the speed of light, simply fall inside and form a black hole? Another of Einstein's arguments can be formulated like this. As the star is compressed, the pressure in its depths will rise and when the star's radius is at 1.125 times the critical radius, the pressure in the core will become infinitely large. And since no real substance can generate infinite pressure, it is impossible to compress anything to such a size, and black holes cannot exist, because to form them one must compress the star even further. Here again, a logical error creeps in. Einstein assumed that there must be interactions that would lead to an infinite increase in pressure, but in reality, such interactions do not exist. The pressure will increase only up to a specific limit, and then everything will collapse. In fact, Einstein's results can be interpreted in different ways. After a certain threshold of compression, nothing will be able to generate forces that would stop a star from collapsing into a black hole.